Hello, 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 hello. I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, so for those who do not know me, my name is Ramira, aka Mira the Goddess. Uh, you can find me on all the social media platforms, and today, um, uh, we are going over the Candlestick Bible and review a little bit about myself. I'm 29 years old, mother of three wonderful boys, stay-at-home mom, and I rob banks legally. <laughs> All right. Um, so we are going over the Candlestick Trading Bible. This is a free download. You can be able to locate it on your social social media, your social media, uh, your um, your any of your internet browsers uh, as a free download, or if you want to purchase uh, the book, you could be able to do so, and uh, you could be able to do so in like on Amazon. All right, sorry guys, I'm, I know I was like stuttering and. and playing around but i was reading something all right so let's get into it all right so uh, we have been going over a couple of things here the content history of countless the countless patterns uh market structure top down analysis trading tactics we went over the pin bar and now we are going over the engulfing bar candlestick pattern and today we are going over how to trade the engulfing bar uh, price action signal if uh, this is your first time watching, I do recommend that you go and replay the previous video so that way you can be able to catch up and know what's going on um, and make sure that you are doing your chart work. Um, I don't recommend that you watch all videos in one session because I want you to be able to actually know what's going on, actually use some chart time so you can train your eyes. Uh, to be able to uh, trade. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so how to trade the engulfing bar price action signals to trade uh, properly the chart candlestick pattern? You need to respect three important elements. One, the trend. Okay, if you look at any chart, you will notice that there are times where the market is moving clearly in one direction and time where it's moving sideways. To be honest, trading the engulfing bar pattern with the trend is the easiest way to make money in the market. You don't need to be highly knowledgeable about technical analysis to determine whether the market is trending or not. Make it stupid simple. If the market is making series of higher highs and higher lows, it's in it is about an uptrend market if it's making series of lower highs and lower lows it's simply about a downtrend market okay higher high well this is low so higher low higher high higher low higher high we're in an uptrend all right the illustration above shows it before i, I go into this so the trend okay let's highlight this let's make this pink or purple And I like this because it's telling us that it's the easy. This is why it's my baby. Okay, it's the, to be honest, trading a golfing bar pattern with the trend is the easiest way to make money in the market. All right, it says the illustrator above shows a clear uptrend. You don't need to use the indicator to determine whether the market is trending or not. Just look. Just look at your chart and try to apply the concept of higher highs and higher lows and vice versa. When you are analyzing your charts, bear in mind that the markets move in trends. And trading with the trend is most important element in your technical analysis. There's no important uh, there's no more important than the trend. You don't never try to fight it or to control it. Otherwise, you'll pay expensively for trying. And I can say that is true. <laughs> you can't make money under any uh, market conditions, no matter 
how powerful is your trading system you have to be patient enough and let the market tell you which direction it is going to take it's going to take successful traders say the trend is your friend if we want to master trading the golfing bar pattern will you got from bar pattern your first rule is to follow the market direction in other words the trend should be your best friend all right number two the level when you find a clearly definable uptrend or downtrend the next step is to identify the most important levels in the market i mean the most powerful support and resistance okay let's make that purple all right, if price tests a support level and stop, this is the indication that buyers are there. This is this area is watched by all participants in the market because it represents a great buying opportunity. Conversely, if price tests a resistance level and stop in the uptrend, this is a clear signal that the selling stream is in the market. The example below shows how the market participate participants interact with support and resistance level. All right, resistance level, support level, resistance level, support level. So let's let's see what they're talking about. All right, it says these levels take different forms, such as trend lines, channels, flash, triangles, and your ability to identify them in your chart will help you find better price levels in the market. In trending markets, when you when prices pass through resistance level that resistance could become support see the illustration below to understand how to trade the engulfing bar with the support and resistance in a bullish or bearish trend all right there are other technical tools uh, that can that can help us find the best levels in the market such as supply and demand areas moving averages and the fibonacci retracement ratios all right uh so it seems here we were in the uptrend it was a resistance here but that resistance then becomes support we have our engulfing our bullish engulfing and she continues in the uptrend and she breaks out here out of that out of that resistance becomes support we're waiting for that bullish and golfing we see the bullish and golfing we take the trade all right it says and then number three the signal all right the signal here is in a golfing bar pattern you can apply the same rules when trading the inside bar candle uh pattern all right it says your ability to identify an engulfing candlestick at a key level and a clear uptrend or downtrend will greatly enhance the probabilities of making a winning trade see another example below all right so we're still in that uptrend here uh this was a says so a resistance all right she breaks through the engulfing bar is formed here and it becomes support because it, it, it stopped here. All of us stopping really right here with this candle. Um, then we have a bearish candle. Then a bullish engulfing here. Alright. And we come support. And uptrend takes place. Okay. Alright. So let's go into the market. Ooh. All right, let's go into the market and let's see if we can find an example for you guys. And All right, so we play with Euro USD. Let me get a clearer one. Okay, is there anything on this chart? okay it's great it's not it's not it's not all right so it seems here we have a resistance level looks like we're in that downtrend right all right um so this is a big resistance so let's break this down we see the lower lows and the lower highs form all right so step one this is the trend right i don't want to do an image Sorry. Well, now that I know you could put the image there, 
I will definitely use that. All right, so so number one, it says the trend. What trend is this? This is a down trend. It can be one word, two words, doesn't matter. Number two, what's number two? Number two, it says. All right, the level. So. We want to find, once we find a uh, clearly definable uptrend and downtrend, the next step is to identify the most important levels in the market. I mean, the most powerful support and resistance. So let's find some support and resistance levels. All right. All right, so I'm going to make, okay, like, oh, that's a different, let's make this like a, I don't know what's up with being purple, but I like the purple today. All right, so this was a support level. She breaks through that support down becomes a resistance here. So I like this level. Let's see, I think we got one more that we can find. Uh, I actually like this where price is right now is at a level. All right, resistance. Okay. And she's still find it, but we're just only working in these areas right now. So we found the trend. We found our support levels. And I'm going to say uh, purple line purple dotted line all right and then number three uh, I believe number three is the signal All right, so yes, number three is the signal. It says the signal here is an engulfing bar pattern. You can apply the same rules when trading the inside bar candle. Sorry, we have a light that's going off in my trading, and I just have to uh, check out it. Okay. All right, we at a okay, great. All right, so let's look for the signal now. All right, so in this case, the signal is the bullish. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, since this is a downtrend, we're looking for the bearish engulfing. Uh oh, sorry. All right, so let's look for the bearish engulfing candles. I don't know if I should. So we're just going to start right here. Where is my arrow? Because um, this was a bullish and golfing here. This was a, uh, a downtrend that we already know. We're at a powerful level, which was this is support at this current time. But this is still that res uh, it was a support. She breaks down. Now she becomes that resistance level. She comes back for that retracement here. And this is uh, that bearish engulfing that takes place. We can enter in the trade here. Okay. She comes back to retest. Gives us another entry with this bearish engulfing here. So we have a bearish engulfing here. And we have another bearish engulfing here. Um, from there, we can take the entry and go down. All right. So this was a support level because she kept, you know, bouncing back and forth here. Uh oh, guys. Sorry. Um. Alright. 
So that was our beard and golfing. All right. So now, what's going on here? This support has finally broken down, right? She went past this support, that, that purple dotted line. Okay. She comes back with the retracement. We're at the up. We're at the top of the uptrend. The bearish and golf. I did. I, I just picked any random spot. I swear to you. And we have a bearish and golfing. Now sometimes this may not happen. Okay, that bearish and golfing. We can now take the trade. All right. Uh, and hold on. Let me bring this down. So. Okay. All right, so with she made a support here, right? Because that's where she retraced from. This is all just a retracement. Now she finally breaks it. It now becomes uh, a resistance level. All right, so in this case, we didn't really well. We did get a um, an entry, but it's not the bearish and golfing that we're looking for. Well, well, we could put it right here to be honest. This one doesn't um, engulf. This is actually another bearish uh, pattern that we'll get to. And then that's a bearish harami. Um, also with the evening star. But it still lets us know that we are in that bearish trend. So really we could take it right here. Um, but if you're scared about your drawdown. Because this is the daily time frame. Um, just make sure that you have a high risk reward. That was our first, uh, literally our first confirmation. Um, but we're already in profit. So, hey, this is really a risk-free uh, trade. All right, so I'm going to actually locate that there. All right. So now we have... Our bearish engulfing, we take the trade. All right, we take the trade. She comes back, retest. Um, she makes a bearish arami, but we're not working, we're not focused on bearish aramis. But this is an indication that we are going to sell. This is an indication that we're going to sell. I believe this is a double top. Um, letting us know that she's going to sell. Sometimes I don't know the names. I think this is a double tag, but I just know the psychology behind them. And that's really what you need to know. If you can see the um, the candles, what they mean, I'm going to be honest, you really don't care what the what the name is. As long as you know the psychology behind them, you know your market structure, you can be able to enter. All right. All right. So let's do one more example. Um Bearish and golfing is here. Alright. It didn't really technically all so let's talk about it. So now um she breaks through, right? So we already know this is now resistance level. She comes here. This is all a support level. Uh here. This is nothing but a fake out. I, I don't see any bearish and golfins here. I don't see anything. So we'll really be taking profit right here. Or you'll take half of our profits or put some of our stop loss into um, into profits. So that way we won't lose any money. Okay. Um, but yet we still know that this is a bearish uh, trend. Yes, we do see all of this taking place. But this is, this is not higher than here. So technically we are still in this bearish trend. It did not make a higher high. We are still in our, because um, there's just nothing but retracement. This is a fake out here. But all of this is really like a support level. This green line is a support level. All right. So we're waiting for a confirmation. Yes, this could be one. But like I said, this is just the first confirmation to let us know that we are at a resistance level. So like it's a small resistance level that's right here. Okay. But we're looking for the, we was looking for the major ones. All right, she comes up a little bit. All right, 
this is somewhat like a head and shoulders pattern but we're not talking about head and shoulders you guys probably don't even know what a head and shoulders is but it's okay all right um this is still indication that we are selling it looks just like this okay all right if we're looking for that bearish engulfing we want to wait for that bearish engulfing to take place and this is where patient uh, comes along if you answer here you have to be patient guys this is nothing but a fake out um if you're actually going to hold it or we how what is your risk reward ratio okay risk management and we'll be talking about that um later on in the contents Okay, now we have finally the bearish and golfing that has been formed. We can now enter the market after that bearish and golfing has been formed. So we're really entering um, here at the close. We are entering. If we enter here, we'll get a little bit of uh, drawdown. So that's why, you know, you want to wait. But it doesn't matter. You're still in. We had that bearish and golfing. She didn't even have to come up. Okay, she kept falling. Okay, bearish and golf it took place. We enter at the close. She fell. Uh oh. We have that bearish and golfy here. We enter here. Yes, it did go up, but it never. It probably wigged with this candle, but it's okay. If we if we lost that, we got back in with that bearish and golfy. All right, all right, and let me highlight this, and that's how you do it. That's how you trade, and that was three easy steps, y'all. Like they said, it doesn't matter where you are in your trading if you're uh, advanced or a beginner. Okay. All right. All right. So this concludes. I will be posting that information shortly that we went over. Look at. And that was just a random spot, y'all. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. I need to stop. I know you're like, she crazy. Yeah, crazy about this, buddy. Look how look how this respects it, dog. Technically, we haven't made a. Um, she did break this. We are we are in the uptrend, okay? That resistance, but we're waiting for that resist. We're waiting for that resistance to become support. So we want to see her break, okay? We're looking for that bullish and gothic if this is an uptrend, and we are on a daily time frame. Which may can actually take place. If it is. If she's a bullish it often depends on how she closes. He didn't even take it up to here. That's 273 pip size. Okay, we want to be. That's the next level right there. We can even just take it up to this resistance. That's fine. That would be probably our TP too. All right. All right. Well, once again, my name is Ramira, a.k.a. Mary the Goddess, M-A-R-T-H-E-G-O-D-E-S-S. That is 1-D-22. You can find me on your social media platforms. Y'all yeah, have a great day. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. Because I'm ready to get into the next thing with you guys um, as well. Next will be trade the golfing bar with moving averages. This is just like an extra confluence. But hey, we're reading the Bible. We're going through it. We found the three. 
which was the trend, the level, and the signal. Just those three steps. We have did our chart work, so that's how we could identify the trend. We have did our chart work, so that's how we could identify the levels. We have did a chart work, so we could see that our bullish at golf is. Do that chart work. Do that homework. Y'all have a great day.